In this video, I'm going to show you how to do frequency analysis using SPSS. For this practice, we are going to use the SPSS practice test score file. You can find the link to this practice file in the description section under the video. In this file, you will see five variables, the ID of the research participants, their self-reported best time to study, their favorite animals, and their test scores for biology and language. Let's say we want to find out how many of the students who study best in the morning, in the day, or in the evening. The best way to do that is to go to Analyze, select Descriptive Statistics, and then go to Frequencies. A small window will pop out. This is the Frequencies window. On the left column, you will see all of the variables that you have on your file. And then on the right column, this will be the column for the variables that you want to analyze. You can move the variable from the left to the right by selecting the variable and then clicking on the arrow pointing to the right. Then the variable will be moved to the right. You can select multiple variable and move it to the right too. Right now, we'll just analyze the best time to study. Click OK and an output window will pop out. In the output window, you'll see the results of your analysis. And here we can see two tables, one showing the number of research participants. The other is the frequency analysis table. As you can see on the second table, 78 students reported that they study best in the morning, 88 in the afternoon, and 84 in the evening or night. And there are a total of 250 respondents. Other than frequency count, SPSS can also do more advanced calculation like mean, median, and mode. Let's say we want to find out the average score of our student's biology test score. So we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Frequencies, and we'll move back Best Time to Study to the left column, and then move Biology Test Score to the right column. Now this time, we'll need to click on Statistics, and select mean, median, mode, or sum, or other options that you want to use. Right now, we just want to find out the average or mean of the student's biology test score. So I'll have it check, and then select continue, and then click OK. On the output window, you'll see that again, there are 250 respondents, and the average score for their biology test score is 80.26. And there's also frequency tabulation for the biology test score. And you can see how many of the students get 64, how many get 65, how many get 75, and so on. However, please note that this frequency table is not the best way to do frequency analysis. You can also use SPSS to create histogram. You can use histogram to inspect the spread of the score. It's the same process as frequency analysis. Go to Analyze, Frequencies. Let's skip Biology Test Score. Make sure that the statistic for mean is selected. And this time, select Charts. You'll have several options for charts here. And we want to select Histogram. Make sure that Show Normal Curve on Histogram is selected. And then go to Continue and OK. If you scroll down, to the bottom of the output window, you'll see that a histogram has been created for you. Using this histogram, you can see which score is the most scores that our students earn. So that's how you use SPSS to do frequency analysis and to create a histogram. 